Hey Virgo, how are you doing? This reading is for Virgo for the second half of June, mid-month reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. What is going on for the amazing and most magical Virgos? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What's coming towards you, the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. What you are focused on is the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. In your blocked and challenged position is the Two of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And your outcome is the Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay, Virgo, let's clarify this and find out what is going on present time you have the two of swords and the two of swords can be indecision feeling at a crossroad there also could be a stalemate or blocked communication or you don't know everything about a circumstance so somebody might be telling you bits and pieces of the story but there's not full disclosure or you're making a really tough choice or a decision. Do I stay in my current circumstance? Or do I get brutally honest with myself that this isn't working for me? Because one is the truth and one is an illusion. And in your blocked and challenged position is the two of wands. Where you have dropped this one wand. Means wherever you were, you're planning on going here. With confidence and a strong backbone, taking on the world. You have some kind of vision for expansion and the key inside of you to be extremely successful in this lifetime. But there's still a level of either ignoring your intuition or to pay attention to what your gut feelings are saying about this circumstance. Or somebody is trying to block you from some kind of opportunity or for to move forward in some kind of avenue. That can also be my two-faced individual. So it could be like a two-faced friend, a two-faced boss, a two-faced lover. And they don't want you to expand or grow. Or there's a blockage in communication, like not expressing yourself. Or butting or clashing with another individual. And the Ten of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And the Ten of Pentacles is your end-all, be-all, your big old house, your white picket fence. Something to do with work, career, stability. It speaks of abundance, prosperity, inheritance. Or avoiding committing at this time. And you could be doing this or there's could be an individual who is trying to avoid a commitment coming together. And this could be something to do with marriage. Or there's finances involved here. Like this could be taking a new position, yet you don't know everything about this position. And that's a lot of pentacles. Or there's something in the home where you've been suppressing your feelings or avoiding communicating something. This could be to, you know, a friend, family member. It's somebody who is close to you. Seven of Cups. Choices and options. But this can be procrastination. But picking and choosing a cup... Or there's something about mixed feelings. You have mixed feelings possibly about this new job opportunity or a relationship, which makes you feel at a crossroads. Do I commit to this or don't I? Just don't lie to yourself. How does it feel? Yeah, this could be somebody who's extremely emotionally reactive. So one day this person is totally fine. And then if you communicate something the next day, this person is like emotionally imbalanced and off the rocker. 
or some of these cups here, Virgo, are good for you and others are not. So seeing through some kind of an illusion, what is a fantasy? What is fake and phony baloney? And what is real? Going back to this, a two-faced individual around you, whether this in, is in a job setting or at home, or it has something to do with like where you work or what you're working on, going towards of like, do I take this new job opportunity? You don't know everything about it, but that doesn't mean you won't learn. Let's see what this Queen of Pentacles has to offer. Queen of Pentacles is generosity, kindness, compassion, loyalty, you know, internally, externally, you look freaking fabulous. This could speak of fertility, abundance, taking really good care of self-love, self-care, self-acceptance. And the chariot, major arcana for cancer. This could have something to do with travel, journey, or forward movement. This is about staying on task and laser focus, keeping your eye on the prize. Very driven here, but it's a fast moving energy. Or something is going to gain some kind of success for you quickly. But these horses are going in two separate directions. So do I stay in this current commitment or do I take something else? Same thing at the crossroads. Could have something to do with a relationship. But that can be like two peas in a pod. Your yin to your yang. Or a, 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 some kind of friendship here. Let's see what this Queen of Cups is. So if you are deep in your feelings here right now, Virgo, or there is somebody who is kind, caring, compassionate around you, I would just watch this Queen of Cups if you're this Queen of Cups. Because Queen of Cups gets a bad rep for people pleasing. It's about making everybody around you happy. And then at the end of the day, you feel quite empty and on E here. Because you invested emotions here, you invested emotions over there. So being more picky and choosy of who you give your time and energy to. Because going back to that seven of cups, some of those cups are not good for you. And this is about you following your heart. Queen of Cups is somebody who's highly intuitive. Or you're dealing with somebody who's highly intuitive. Yeah, and the Eight of Wands. Good news. The Arrows of Love. Or something is picking up rapid momentum or gaining some kind of steam for you. And it's because you are in this well-balanced, beautiful energy. For some of you, you want to get away from some kind of commitment here. Avoid committing to a situation and like smoking your tires. Yeah, three of wands, expansion. But this is about partnership or waiting for some kind of results here. You've already done the work. And I feel like you're just waiting to get paid or there's a payout. Eight of wands is about excitement in the air or some kind of like travel plans in the works multitasking going here going there and going everywhere fast 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 <laughs> the two of wands is in your blocked and challenged position so you see deep down you already know where you're headed see because you have the two and the three but there's some kind of waiting a waiting period I feel like it's whatever this energy outside of you or avoiding not committing to something. Or you could be dealing with somebody who is avoiding you. And the Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. 
And the Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. It speaks of commitment, loyalty, being in good company, friends, family, loved ones. And again, this could be two things happening for you here, Virgo. Three of Cups, celebration, engagement, getting together with your gal pals, your buds, going to a barbecue. And this could be some kind of good news you have to celebrate, you want to share, or somebody has good news that they want to share with you. There's something about this, again, this commitment. I feel like you want to commit to something that is going to bring you the most emotional satisfaction and nourishment. And it's like you're in your feels and or this is you here, Virgo, where it's like you need to let go of something in order for you to have something else. And this is more emotionally rewarding to you. Where it's like, yeah, maybe there's something about a contract here. Or somebody's avoiding signing something. I don't know what it has to do with. Or family is trying to hold back. You hold you back. Are there somebody lying here? Like somebody that tells you bits and pieces of the story, but there's not full disclosure. Nine of Wands in your outcome. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. You're tired. You've put in a lot of hard work. Yeah, you're beat up. You've got a lot of battle scars. This is a need for you to take rest when your body is screaming at you to take rest. And when you feel bright and bushy-tailed here, Virgo, take action. This speaks of boundaries. Placing healthy boundaries and protecting something that you have created for yourself. Yeah, this is like avoiding some kind of commitment. And here, it's like, instead of doing something that is practical, you're in your feels here. Because I feel like you feel it's more nurt nurturing or nourishing to your soul. They say follow your passion and you'll never work a day in your life again, right? And the five of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. Wow. The nine of wands can also be an energy outside of you. Like this person is trying to prevent you from doing something or going somewhere. Or you could be what you resist, persist. And what you're resisting for yourself, it's actually depleting you. It's making you feel empty. This is my, um, you know, codependency. Or there could be somebody who is heavily codependent on you here, Virgo. This person plays the victim card, but really they're the villain. This person is arms are broken. The boo-hoo, Virgo, but what about me? But what about you? You know, we're all adults here. At least I'm I'm hoping we're all adults here. Yeah, and this tiredness. I would just watch your health here because there's this is mega burnout. Mega, mega, mega burnout to the point where you feel or even can make yourself sick. Or somebody is like extremely burning you out and resisting or blocking you from changing that can also be like ill health mental health addiction or a need for you to place a healthy boundary and disconnect from this because see how you start with this ten of pentacles somebody is trying to avoid you from leaving or moving into some kind of other position but it's a more emotionally nourish like nourishment nourishing and see you've already dropped this one wand you know the world is your oyster this person puts a guilt trip on you that's my boohoo eeyore card poor me poor poor me virgo but what about me virgo 
Yeah, but what about you? Like, really? The water carrier. What really matters? Reflect and reprioritize. What really matters? Is it about your money or is it about the happiness? Well, somebody's draining your energy or draining your pockets here. And they're like, no, no, I, I'm not doing that. So that's why you're like avoiding commitment or avoiding like a family member, a friend. Same thing with the horses. It's going in two different direction. You can spend your time with this or you can take a veer approach to this, which is e more emotionally nurturing and nourishing nourishment. The pearl, alchemy, the reward at the end from grit to grace. Wow. From grit to grace. And then it does see there's an alchemy on here. You are the alchemist in the deck, Virgo. It means simplifying and neutralizing things in your life. Anything complex must go. And purging baggage. And purging bums. People who are bumming off you. Or pretending their arms are broken that they can't help you but they can. They make you do all the work. And you're like, I'm smoking my tires out of here. The rainbow, sweet relief, new beginning, new beginnings, a new way forward. Forward movement, always a sign of growth. So you're on some kind of growth spurt here. And there's somebody in your external environment, whether this is family, whether this is a job situation, a boss, whatever it is. It feels like it's somebody who's trying to hold on to you so that you don't advance here. The sacred well, replenishment, self-care. Giving from a place of plenty. I can't stress self-care enough. And, you know, putting yourself on the pedestal here, Virgo, is not selfish. It's selfless and necessary. I feel like you've put people before you. And it does it depletes your energy or there's somebody who is very spiteful this person is trying to block you from moving on so they play this but if you leave me or there's some kind of codependency on you or abandonment issue somebody feels abandoned by you i feel like they did it to themselves what is going on here <laughs> Older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Dog, close up, pleasure with a close friend. Yeah, you know, friends could be good medicine. It's somebody who's loyal to you. Ladder. Climbing towards success. Not unsuccessful plans. Bear. Danger, especially in money matters. So you could be worried about your finances and maybe that that's why you stay in this connection. You could be worried that you're going to be left out in the cold or worried that you're not good enough or whatever here. It is just a mindset. It's an old outdated belief. Great worry over nothing. Yeah, this could be somebody that owes you money or needs to pay you out here. You're going to get that good news. You're going to get that victory. Um, 
and or this person is going to try to grip and hold on to you for as long as they can because they know that you know you're heading towards a different commitment it could be job and career it also could be love cobweb protection protected from negative forces beyond your control bull do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude yeah you've got this virgo and that ten of pentacles is virgo energy so i feel like you've already created something or established yourself quite well but there's an energy of avoiding some kind of commitment or a connection here because there's something more heartfelt in some kind of relationship, connection, um, job situation, living location, moving closer to family or something like that. And then there's this energy of like, where do you think you're going? Like this person is like resisting to you wanting to change. It's because you've been doing all the heavy lifting. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.